Hey everybody, Jenny and, and John, John back again <laughs> for the second half. So you need to watch our other video first where we explain the change in kinetic energy and total work. work here. And in fact, we solved this problem in our earlier video. And the problem is this rocket starts out here, goes here, it has these variables, <coughs> and the question was, how fast is it going when it gets at this 500 meter level? And we use kinetic energy equals work to come up with this. So now we're going to use this, the one Carefully. that we used before, <laughs> and go through and explain why this is probably going to be better than this. So the idea is to look at the mechanical energy. And so you're asking if you can use whether or not mechanical energy is conserved. So you write down your conservation equation. The initial mechanical energy equals the final mechanical energy. But does it is the well, question. We've got some more involved here, don't we? Yes. Because if you look initially, the rocket essentially has no potential energy and no kinetic energy. The initial mechanical energy is essentially nothing. zero. But at the end, it's gone up, it's gained potential energy, it's now moving, so it's gained kinetic energy, so it has mechanical energy. But where did that come from? So that's the question. Where did it come from? It came from the thrust. The thrust was the thing that allowed that to happen. So I know I've got to use it here, but how do I use this? So the idea is you have nothing here, but you have something here. In order to make that true, you've got to add something to this side in this case. To so this side The over thrust here? is adding energy into the system. So I add it to the left? Yes, that's where I would, in order to balance, it's got to be to the left. So I would put plus the work done by the thrust on but that side of the equation. Now, don't we have some other work? Because we have... The force of gravity does work on the rocket too, but when you take care of the mechanical energy, that involves potential energy. That takes care of the work done by gravity. What, you're saying it's embedded in here? It is. It's hiding out in there. Where? In the MGH part. Shall I expand this and we can yeah, look closer? Yeah, let's, let's find right. it, man. The initial mechanical energy should be... The initial kinetic energy plus... The initial potential energy, but we said that that height was zero. So there's that mechanical energy plus the work done by the thrust will be equal to the final mechanical energy, should be one half m v f squared plus the final potential energy. So the thrust doesn't go on that side. No, nope. in order to balance it, we had to put it back in on this side. So it's only going on one side. Now. Do, what happened to the, the potential the work, energy? What happened to the work due to the gravity? gravity? That was taken care of in the potential energy change. So, so it's that, really it's right here. It's hiding in there. It is there. It's, it's this one. Because mm -hmm. it can't be. All right. It's zero there. But will this work? Can we still get to the final? Not in this much board space. <laughs> 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 well, the work done by the thrust, we figured that out earlier. It's actually just the force of the thrust times the height, right? Even though I love it, I'm going to erase it in the name of science. And you said the initial speed was zero, so that one goes away. This term also goes away. And so let's... But I still have this. Yeah, there's still All right, so let's leave that. So that's the energy from the thrust is equal to the final energy. So we could rearrange this slightly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. She's e F G I know. H. All right, now we're mind. there. So force of thrust <laughs> times the height minus mg times h. Mg we can call just force of gravity, right? That's a lot of g's. <laughs> uh, force of gravity, gravity times, times height. height. Gotcha. Equals and one half mv. And we could rearrange it to solve for v final. Putting everything in 
final form, if I multiply by 2, divide by m. Let me I get rid of that for you. From that side. Hey, let's get rid of that. Take the square root. All right. And we have the same equation. 2 times the force of the thrust times the displacement minus the force of gravity times height all over the mass all under the square root sign gives us v final, which is exactly what we got in the earlier video when we did it with the change in kinetic energy equals work. But in case you didn't notice, I was really confused. Where does the thrust go? Where does the, the work due to gravity go? Where does the MGH go? Keeping track I'm, of the science oh, is tricky man. on that conservation equation. So it's kind of a Probably. special application, but this one. The change in kinetic energy is equal to the work way better. Always works. Thanks. I hope Thank you. we have Maybe unconfused. confused. <laughs>